Well, thank you for yeah, coming, and, and thank you for Echoir Light and for inviting me and, and putting on this show. It's, it's, it's a, little, uh, a little more than what I expected, I think. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I'm uh, uh, quite pleased and honored. Uh, and it's a, it's a great honor to be able to give my film and the material to, uh, to the archive, because uh, for now, a Belgian-stander, yeah. um, uh, to, to become part of the history of Leiden is, is an amazing, amazing honor, so, so thank you very much. Um, Mark, your movie generates a lot of media attention. <laughs> What was it like? Uh, it, was, uh, it was a little bit terrifying, because <laughs> uh, it was uh, all in Dutch, and uh, what are they saying about this? <laughs> But. Um, Uh, every morning I would wake up and we'd get emails and say, oh, hey, you know, uh, it's in the, the Volkskrank or in the Dreitor, <laughs> and, uh, and I, I, I watched a bit of it, and uh, it's, it all seemed like people were having fun with it. Yeah. And so uh, it was quite a surprise, and thank you for the warm reception. <laughs> um, uh, I wasn't quite prepared for it, but uh, it, I've been having a lot of fun. Afternoon. What was it like, the movie? Well, I think that most of the people in here already were very much in love with Leiden. <laughs> I remember the first time I came to the city and I remember very well the first days after I came into office. I lived in an apartment in the inner city and the first days I, I walked to uh, City Hall, um, crossed all the alleys, some of them have been in the film as well, And every day, the weather was beautiful in those days, it did help a lot, <laughs> it help a lot. And every day I thought, well, this is my city, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. And it, uh, well, it has stayed that way every year. And first of all, there were the buildings and the streets and the alleys. And later on, the people came in and you get connected with all the people as well and you see the way in which the people use the city in the public space and this really is very hot. But we knew it because we were in love. <laughs> But when you tell it someone else, everyone says, wow, well, you are not objective. <laughs> it's, your, it's your point of view. But now, a real scientist has <laughs> <laughs> proved that we are right. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is very important, of course. I think this is the main the main thing. Uh, I think that uh, Mark uh, Newbert um, is right that it's really very nice to live in places as the the old town in Leiden. It's nice to live there, but remember, it's not only for the people living in the city center. It's also the room, the public room for the people that live outside the city center, that still use it and con consider it as their main room in town. It's very important and it should, we should keep it that way. It should not be only for the people that are living there or for the people that are working there. It's from everyone, the public space at least. This is very important, and second thing I think is very important, it should be accessible for everybody, uh, everybody. And um, there were some small discussions that uh, high housing prices are going up, uh, the gentrification, and that, uh, we, that, that we could face uh, the difficulty that in the future only the rich people can afford living here. This is only one point of view. When we look at society, uh, we used to have a division between the rich and the poor. But nowadays, nowadays we have a division between people that are well educated and people that aren't. This is a bigger division than the, the old one. It's difficult. Look at our schools. Um, uh, Should we organize a different discussion for uh, that? Uh, that's <laughs> well, but what I do want to mean, what I, what I really mean to say is that we should keep society together and in a city helps it to, uh, to keep people together. That's the reason why it should be accessible for everyone. And that's the reason why we should celebrate our public festivities together and not privatize part of the public space for some.
Thank you very much. And with those final notes, uh, I hand over the microphone to uh, Bettina Brunt. Uh, this is also a press moment, so if you feel like taking your pictures, <laughs> please do it now. <laughs> of the film. We will not leave you empty-handed. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, one of the presents is really nice. I think you might want to share it. No, the one stays in there. for my students um, who, who come from uh, the western part of uh, America where everything is suburbia and in cars and they drive their cars everywhere and I wanted them to see a different way of living um, and uh, they react very well to it. How? Uh, well, first they go, what, what are these Varta Pete's? And Blackface. They, like, <laughs> they whoa, that's, uh, and explain, it's something completely different, it's not, it's not what you think. Uh, but they react very well. They, they often, um, at the end of it, they have lots of questions, but uh, I often hear, well, I would like to live like that. Why, why can't we live like that? And, and sometimes, uh, in America, it's, we're not allowed to build these places. The city codes forbid it. And, and uh, they, they, some, they get a little sad 